Hello everyone and welcome, I am Slyfat Wombat, and in this video I will be discussing my ideas for the next Battlefield game. Just to give you a brief history of my relationship with Battlefield, I have been playing Battlefield since Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. All of them are pretty good and they've all got their own little things that make the game great, but my favourite is Battlefield 4. The way that you can destroy things, the way that you can customise things, the way the maps are laid out, it's all fun, it's all for fun, it's all games. Now, my relationship with DICE is not a healthy relationship, it's a love-hate relationship. I love everything you can do in the game, and the destruction, the guns, the vehicles, the chaos, the maps and all that. I hate some of the mechanics in it, like the spawning locations, the, some of the map designs are broken, some of the ideas and mechanics that they've got in it are broken and just ruin the game. So those are the love-hate. Now before we get into the ideas, I will just make this clear. I do not know when the next Battlefield game is coming out. I have heard that it is coming out in October 2021. I have also heard that there are three gaming companies that are working on this game. So I'm hoping that this next Battlefield game is amazing and phenomenal because DICE need it and so does the community. So there we go. That's, that's my... So there we go. Let me get into my ideas. One, I don't know where the next Battlefield is going to be. I don't know when the next Battlefield is going to be. I really hope it's a continuation on from Bad Company 2 or Battlefield 4. You know, just a few years set after them with different guns, different matters, different, different gun stats and everything like that. That's all I'm hoping. Those, that's just my first idea. Second idea, a new engine. The Battlefield series has been playing with Frostbite 3 for the last 8 years. Well, it's coming up to that. Pretty much Battlefield 4 was Frostbite 3, and every game after that has been Frostbite 3. I really don't think updating an engine is a good choice. I believe that a brand new engine would be better, because the next generation of consoles are coming out next year, and we've got brand new computer parts coming out, which the graphic cards are going to be stronger, faster, better, more powerful, the motherboards are going to be more powerful, so I believe a new engine for the new generation would be the best choice for DICE. Battlefield 5 is played with cheaters. I really hope that the next Battlefield game has an anti-cheat that works well and works amazingly. I really hope that the anti-cheat discovers that this person is using cheats, is using hacks, and just bans that player straight away. No kicking, no no temporary ban, automatic ban, permanently. That that needs to happen, Dice, because oh, it's, it is quite frustrating being killed by someone through a wall who's who's under the map. Battlefield is known for 64 players, but I just don't think 64 players is going to cut it anymore. Due to the way the consoles are becoming more powerful and having more memory, due to the way the PCs are getting more powerful and having more memory, I don't really think that 64 players is just going to do it anymore. I believe Conquest needs to have 100 players as a, as a maximum, and if they do a Battle Royale, 150. More people will just want to play Battlefield because it's more chaotic, it's more crazy, because of all the players who you can kill or be killed by. People are going to want to try and flank and get all these flanks off with all these different players and all that stuff. I just hope the next Battlefield game has more players on the servers. Game modes. Now, Battlefield needs to bring back some classics. They need to bring back Rush, they need to bring back Domination and Capture the Flag. There's a few new ones that they've brought out called Breakthrough, Grind, and Outpost. Breakthrough is like a tug of war, you know? The, the more people you have in one sector, the, the, the faster you can cap a flag. The less people you have in, in, in a certain sector, the, the faster the enemy can cap a flag. It's, it's progression and digression. That's pretty much how it is. It's great game mode. So I really hope that they bring that back or keep that in the Battlefield series. Now, Conquest is a staple hold of Battlefield. I don't think there's been a Battlefield without Conquest. It is a staple hold of the Battlefield franchise. What Conquest is, it's a map, and there are five flags, and the enemy teams fight over those five flags. 
It's pretty fun, it's pretty simple, it's basic, but everyone knows what they're doing. I really hope that they keep this, but I really hope that they tweak it a little bit for maps and stuff. The rush game mode was an amazing mode, and a lot of people want it back. So, I'm really hoping that DICE bring back rush, and I really hope that they make it 50v50 on rush, and instead of having two MCOMs, have three or four in, in sections, in each sector. You know, so, so you'd have... So you could have like 10 people protecting the MCOM or trying to protect the MCOM and you'd have another 50 people trying to kill those people who are trying to get to the MCOM. You know, just more chaos, more destruction, more fun. I really hope that they bring back TDM and Domination. TDM is what's well, Team Deathmatch, so it's just two teams going around killing each other. Domination is sort of like Conquest, but it's infantry only. There are three maps, and it's on a TDM map. So instead of just killing the enemies, you, you can go cap flags and win points. And, and uh, you can go cap flags and win points, and you can even start bleeding the enemy tickets and protecting that flag while killing enemies. It's, it's a combination of Conquest and Team Deathmatch, and it's really fun. Capture the flag, well everyone knows what capture the flag is, that hasn't been around for a while, but last time I played it was pretty fun. When it comes to the maps and the servers, I'm going to be doing that in another video. The reason this is because I want to discuss certain things that I would like in maps and certain things I would like on the servers. So we'll go into them in another video. The one thing that I love about Battlefield 4 is Levolution. Levolution is the thing that you saw at the beginning, that huge tower falling down. Levolution really is an amazing thing. Some maps have it beautiful, some maps are a bit shit with it or without it. It really depends on which way you look at it. Siege of Shanghai is a great map, except when the tower comes down, it becomes hazy and a really, really boring, boring map. Paracel Storm, when the Levolution happens with the huge battleship, that is awesome and I really love that. I enjoy Rogue Transmission when the huge satellite dish comes down and the flood zone when the when the water changes the entire map so you can't run you have to swim under the water so it's pretty cool i really want them to bring something like this back but instead of it just being one thing that happens that changes the map or that certain area of the map i would like it to be that it's not just one thing i hope that it's two three or even four things that can change the map drastically well not drastically but i hope that it that when it happens you, you can flank to that flag easier because you're not trying to get around these tanks. I hope that there's a little bit more levolution or destruction or flanking areas or secret passages that you can go through to get to flags. Do you get what I mean? It's just levolution really is an amazing thing and I love it so much. Customization. Battlefield 4 had the best customization ever. It was simple, it was basic, and it was easy. Anyone could figure out how to do it. All you have to do is click on your character, go to the deploy screen, click on the gun you want, and then this little cog up here, you can change what you want in your gun. You can change your attachments if you've unlocked them, you can change the color of your skin, and everything like that. You can even change your gadgets, you can change your grenades, you can change other things, you can even change the color of your character. So, the customization in Battlefield 4 is great. I really hope that they keep it similar to that. Just make it simple and basic. Or just make it simple for everyone to read so they know what they're doing and then they can get straight into the game. Because people don't want to have to flick through so many different screens to be able to dress up their character and then spawn and die in half a second. People don't want that. Well, I don't want that. I, don't, I just want it to be basic and simple and just easy to read. CTE. Now, CTE is Community Test Environment. What CTE is, is that it allows the community to test guns, vehicles, and everything like that. It then allows the community to give feedback to tweaking, nerfing, or buffing guns, vehicles, and stuff like that. It also lets people discuss how they want a map to be, or if they could move a certain flag or if they need more cover in maps and stuff like that it's pretty much a hands-on approach from the community to the developers to make the game better they need to bring this back in and it would really help the battlefield scene well everyone wants to hear everything so they don't die i really hope the sound is impeccable i really do i really want to be able to hear an enemy who's running up behind me 
five seconds before he's there so I can turn around and try to shoot him or know where he is before I get knifed or something like that. I would also like to be able to hear the tanks or see the tanks on the mini-map before I turn the corner and get my head blown off because they know I'm there. Now again everyone those are just some of the things that I would like. If you don't like these that's okay you don't have to. If you do like these then thank you. That's it ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching. Again, these are my opinions. If you don't like them, that's totally fine. These are just my opinions that I think would make Battlefield better. Thanks again. I am Wombat.